Hey, Retro Gamers. Today we're diving into the wild world of Ensemble Studios for a creativity flow like coffee at an all night coding session. But hold on to your keyboards because this story takes more unexpected turns than a two piss with a sense of humor. Now let the games begin. I am Professor Retro, where gaming history gets an unlimited lives. Let's press start and dive into the epic tale of Ensemble Studios. Now let me set the scene. It's the era of funky hairstyles, dial up internet, and everyone thinking Y2K would bring an apocalypse lit by angry toasters. Ensemble was riding high on the success of Age of Empires, and light was good. But my friends, when things are good, you can bet chaos is just waiting backstage ready to make an entrance. Enter Ensemble Studios, founded by Tony Goodman in 1994. Goodman named the company after his consulting company, Ensemble Corporation. However, in 2001, cue the dramatic music because here come the plot twist, those almighty computing overlords led by Bill Gates, Microsoft, acquired Ensemble in 2001, making Ensemble their internal studios. Now, imagine if you were gathering all your resources, preparing to build a massive base of Minecraft, when suddenly, like a creeper, Microsoft decides it's time for a corporate reshuffle, and Ensemble found themselves on the receiving end of the dreaded game over screen and disbanded in 2009. Ensemble Studios, known for developing popular games like Age of Empires, closed in 2009. Now, the main reason for this closure was due to Microsoft, the studio's parent company at the time, the restructured gaming division. Microsoft opted for a change in strategy, shifting more towards a central approach in game development. This led to the closure of Ensemble as part of a broader restructuring plan. The closure was not attributed to the studio's performance or the quality of its games, but rather a strategic decision made by Microsoft. So as the curtains closed on the Age of Empires, the heroes of Ensemble disappeared, some forming new alliances and others retreating to their virtual citadels. The once mighty gaming empire now rests in the archives of nostalgia. It's legacy preserved in the code of classic game. But fear not, for in the realm of gaming, when one studio falls, another one writheth. And so the tale of Ensemble concludes not with a game over screen, but with a respawn in the annals of gaming history. So... May your clicks be swift, your resources plentiful, and your laughter endless as you continue your virtual conquests. We say farewell to Ensemble Studios. You may have disbanded, but your pixelated spirits will on in the hearts of every gamer who ever commanded an army with a mouse and a dream. And with that, I'm Professor Retro reminding you to hit that like button, ring that bell, and smash the subscribe button so you get the heads up of when another one of my videos respawns. Peace out, and stay frosty.